Hello everyone, this is a Z transformation video. Here we have, as you can see, two equations here. This is Z transformation, and this is inverse Z transformation, but we use partial fraction expansion or long division for inverse Z transformation. Here we have an example as a recursive filter, first order recursive filter, because as you can see here we have y n minus 1. Uh, let's find hz, the impulse response of the system. Uh, then we will find the output for xn. Okay, for the impulse response, we apply delta n for xn and yn becomes hn. Okay, then if you take the inverse, if you take the Fourier transform here, we put h e to the j omega for hn. Here, for hn minus 1, we put here h e to the j omega, and there is a time shift, therefore, in Fourier transform, we have a phase shift. And the free transform of delta n is 1, and delta n minus 1 is 1, and there is a time shift here, and here we have a phase shift. Then let's take the z transform. We put a z for h e to the j omega here, and take the coefficients of a z in parentheses and Take this parenthesis to the right side as a denominator, and we have a fraction hz here. And let's find the inverse z transform. Okay, we uh, we separate this uh, fraction into two terms here. As you can see, there is a one here for a denominator, and here we have a minus 102z to the minus 1. Okay, we we can directly take the inverse z transform for this. As you can see, for right side of signal, here the root is 0 0.4. Therefore, uh, we can take the inverse as 0 0.4 to the n un. And here, uh, we can uh, Take the inverse Fourier transform here. We one over two comes here as a multiplication because of the linearity, and the root here 0 0.4 to the n u n for the right side of sequence. But here we have one more parameter set to the minus one, uh, which means a uh, time shift in time domain. Okay, therefore we put n minus one for n. Okay. We change this. Therefore, we have Hn like this. Okay, why we use right-sided uh, system? Why we choose right-sided system here? Because uh, the root is smaller than one. Okay, means that it is, this is an uh, exponentially decreasing function, and it converts to some number. If we use left-sided uh, system, for example, if you think that n is negative number, uh, this function becomes uh, exponentially increasing function. Okay, that's why this. Okay, this is this converts to one over one minus zero point four for uh, right-sided uh, systems. Therefore, we use. This. And also for left side of uh, signal, if it's from minus infinity to zero, the, the summation is infinity. Let's find output. Okay, output can be found by uh, convolution in time domain, multiplication in Fourier transform, and Z transform. Okay, let's find the uh, z transform of xn. xn is the input is 1 over 3 to the n un. It's also an exponentially decreasing function. Okay, this is the root 1 over 3. This is the uh, as you know, z transform. And the output is hz, xz times hz. This is xz and this is hz.
Okay, we will use uh, partial function expansion uh, to find uh, y and here we have two factor here. Therefore, we have two uh, terms fraction here, two fraction. Uh, the nominators are a and b, and we will find them using uh, using residue methods. Okay, how can we find a? First, to find a, we multiply uh, both sides by the denominator of a. Okay, 1 minus 1 over 3 z to the minus 1. We multiply this term uh, by both sides. Okay, then a is alone, but here we have this term. To reduce this term, this red part must be 0. Okay. Uh, to make the uh, term 0 here, if z to the minus 1 is 3, then this becomes 0, and at the right side of this equation, a is alone. Okay, we multiply uh, this term to the left side, uh, and reducing these terms here, and if we put uh, 3 for z to the minus 1 here, uh, a is alone, and uh, for the left side we put uh, 3 for z to the minus 1, and we get 2.45a. And we do the same thing for b, okay, this time we multiply the denominator of b for both sides, and here b is alone, then to reduce this term, we put uh, 1 over 0 0.4 for z to the minus 1, okay, that's all, and this, terms, uh, this term will uh, reduce, and b will be alone at the right side, and we get b as minus 3 over 2, and why z here? is uh, here as you can see there are two terms here and uh, we can take the inverse z transform easily uh, as right sided signal because uh, x was uh, right sided signal here and this is the root 1 over 3 to the n u n this is multiplication here minus 3 over to the root is 0 0.4 to the n u n. As you can see, 1 over 3 is an exponentially decreasing function, and 0 0.4 to the n is an exponentially decreasing function for positive ends. And converges, of course, converges to this number and to this number. Okay, as you can see, reds are the uh, functions samples here as you can see these are uh, exponential decreasing function as a second method we can use long division to obtain the inverse z transform okay we use uh, long division and long division is uh, the polynomial division here uh, we multiply these two factors and we get this here we have two choice uh, one is to obtain right-sided signal and the second is uh, left-sided signal to obtain right-sided signals polynomials both polynomials uh, should be ordered from low order to higher order okay here 1, z minus 1, z minus 2, from low order to high order, okay. This is the nominator, this is the denominator. Okay, to find 1 here, uh, we need to multiply this denominator by 1. We put here 1, 1 time this term is the same, we put it here and subtract these two polynomials and we obtain this. Then 
we need to have 0 0.23 set to the minus 1 to obtain this we multiply by this term because we have here 1 therefore uh, we multiply uh, this polynomial by 0 0.23 z to the minus 1 and we get uh, this term after subtraction uh, we get this term and to obtain the first to reduce them we multiply this uh, denominator by the uh, same and uh, like this here and it goes to infinity if we have infinite number of uh, terms here long division gives us in, in, in infinite uh, terms and therefore it's not an exact solution it's an only approximate solution here as you can see here we have z to the minus one all the powers are uh, negative therefore it's an uh, it's right outside of the signal. We can also obtain Hn using long division. As you can see, let's go to the uh, ball here, upside here, Hn. Where is Hn? Hn is this, okay. And we obtain this from Hz, these two. And with the, uh, using long, long division here, let's see what we get. Okay, to obtain right-sided system, of course we need right-sided signal. If it is right-sided, and uh, if it is right-sided, it's a causal system. As you can see here, the root is 0 0.4, and the absolute value of the root is smaller than 1, which means that there is an exponential decreasing function, and uh, it's not only causal but uh, stable and uh, we have to order them from low to high as this 1 minus 0 0.4 z to the minus 1 this is the denominator and here we put uh, nominator and we do the division for to get left side of signal if this left side of signal, this is non-causal, and also uh, we get uh, 0 0.4 to the n. If n's are negative, then we get unstable uh, system. For the left side of signal, for the left side of system, we we change the order. Okay, here it's start for. Uh, by z to the minus 1 and to the lower order from higher order to the lower order and we do the uh, same uh, division method and as you can see here all the powers of z are positive here all the powers are negative means this is right sided and this is left sided okay after the division we get 1 here delta n minus 0 0.1 delta n minus 1 uh, minus 0 0.04 delta n minus 2 and it goes like this and here take the uh, inverse set transform we get this we have delta n delta n plus 1 n plus 2 this is the uh, right side of signal if we draw this as you can see by red lines here, this is an exponentially decreasing function, but this is uh, an exponentially increase, increasing uh, function. Here, Hn is 0 for all negative values of n, therefore this system is causal. Also, uh, it has a, it has a, it's a function of exponential decreasing function and uh, it converts some number and therefore it's a stable uh, system but here it increasing and the summation uh, will be uh, infinitive therefore it's not a, a causal system thank you